What's up, guys? It's Casey Zogelman, a.k.a. the fourth Sanderson sister, coming at you with another episode of the Hocus Pocus Cookbook of Recipes. In today's video, I am making an appetizer slash side slash if you just want to eat this for the heck of it. Um, I'm making pastry boots, but they're, I, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm only going to make one boot because I don't have the boot cookie cutter that they uh, advise you have for this. I don't have that. I'm going to try with my trusty knife, or probably a smaller one, um, to make a boot shape for you guys. But I'm not confident that that's going to turn out very well. <laughs> Once again, the recipe comes from the official Hocus Pocus cookbook, where you can pick up at Amazon or any bookstore, really. Let's get to it. For this recipe, you will need puff pastry. You will need frozen spinach that has been thawed, rinsed, and drained. There's a reason it's not in the box, because it's in here, because I had to do that already. They call for 16 ounces. I'm doing eight because it's just me here. Um, you need some feta cheese. You need yellow bell pepper is what they call for, but I'm using some of my dad's homegrown hot banana peppers. Give it a little kick, and they're really not that hot. Um, you need some garlic cloves. You need about two garlic cloves, and we're going to mince those up. And you need butter. Oh, and the last thing you need is eggs. Um, gotta have eggs. So, I'm going to put this over here because puff pastry is not quite done thawing yet. Um, and we're going to start getting this stuff together. Apparently, you also need olive oil. I overlooked that, so I'm glad I looked. Um, let's do this, shall we? So, first off... We need to chop up our peppers because we don't want these to be whole, obviously. Um, best thing to do whenever you're doing peppers, especially ones like this, slice them right down that middle. There we go. And take the seeds out. The seeds are where all the heat really kind of gets you. Plus, do you really want, do you really want seeds in your poppers? or anything that you make. I, I know you don't. I know I don't. <laughs> so I'm going to cut those out. Get them out of there. All of them. Get off of there. Why did I put that there? I'm dumb. All right. And then we're just going to slice these guys right down the middle again. And then I'm just going to cut them into smaller pieces. I'm going to do it this way because they move around less. <laughs> Plus, you get that more satisfying crunch noise. Now, you're going to want to make sure these are roughly the same size. My knife cuts are not perfect. I don't claim to be perfect. Especially not in the kitchen. Just do your best. I am not a professional. I'm a professional what? Amateur. I'm a professional amateur. That's right. So, I'm going to do all three of these. Because... That's about the equivalent to a yellow bell pepper, um, or a whole bell pepper. Because these guys are obviously smaller, but they pack a little bit more flavor in them. Plus, Dad didn't grow bell peppers, so I'm trying to avoid buying stuff at the grocery. Because sometimes when I do that, he'll go, well, I could have grown that in the garden. And I'm like, well, yeah, Dad, but you didn't, did you? So... <laughs> We had that discussion last year whenever I said something about wanting zucchini because I got on a zucchini kick and I got some at the farmer's market and he just gave me a pouty look and went, I could have grown you some zucchini. And I was just like, well, okay, but did you? <laughs> he, he takes such pride in his garden and I love my dad. It's just, it's funny watching him get offended sometimes when he's like, well, I could have done that. And I'm like, well, you didn't, but I'm sure you could. And then, this year, you know what's out there? Zucchini. <laughs> Zucchini's out there this year. <laughs> so, it's just funny. Alright, so we got our pepper diced up here. Now we're going to crush some garlic. This part, guys, don't try this unless you feel really confident about yourself. If you feel confident... I believe in you, but don't try this if you don't think you can do it. You need to get two cloves, 
peeled and minced. I myself, I'm gonna do three because I'm also Italian. Not only am I Southern, I am Italian. And we like our garlic. We like our garlic. The ancestors tell you when to stop adding garlic. So I'm going with three. Take your knife, make sure it's a big knife. Put it right on top. Children, don't try this without adult supervision. Frankly, don't try it until you're an adult and you just smack it. You just smack it. And I'm not talking a little bitty. You get not full for just right like that a couple of times. And then just motion of the ocean back and forth. <laughs> really helps if you had a rough day. <laughs> If you've had a long day, just pretend that's your enemy and you are about to crush the crap out of them. And that's how you mince garlic. I learned that the Anne Burrell way uh, from watching Worst Cooks in America. I was like, oh, I didn't know you could do it like that. Cool. And that's how I've liked to do it ever since. Here we go again. Ugh. Probably scaring the crap out of my cats in the back. I'm going, what is she doing in there? I'm crushing garlic, mind your business. <laughs> it just, it releases something in you. Rage, mostly. So, there we go. Got our peppers, we got our garlic. I gotta wash the sticky off my hands. So here comes the fun part. Where you start doing your cooking. You need your olive oil, about a tablespoon, which is about that much. Um, <laughs> about that much. And then you need two tablespoons of butter. Which again, I'm gonna cut with this knife because I've already got a knife and it's a good knife. So you're going to want to melt that over medium high heat. So while that's doing that thing, this is going to go in. We're going to add the garlic first. Let it go for about a minute until it starts to smell amazing. Um, and then we're going to add the pepper, coat it, and go for about two to three minutes with that. And then we get to add the spinach. All right. So let me get the garlic in there first. My very sticky knife now. Remember, I'm not a professional. All right, so let's get that garlic sauteing for about a minute. The smell of cooking garlic is one of the best things in the entire world. It just immediately lifts my spirits. I mean, just immediately. I don't know if it's the Italian in me or what, but I had kind of a blah mental health day today. And I was like, oh, I gotta come home and try to bulk record another one of these, or another two of these, really, because I'm actually filming this one simultaneously with the dead man's toe one. Um, but um, I was dreading it. And I'm like, man, I really don't want to stream and everything tonight. I'm just not feeling it. Now that I just got a good whiff of that garlic, I'm like, I'm re-energized now, actually. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> um, just smells amazing. <laughs> it just smells amazing. I love it. I love the smell of cooking garlic. God. <laughs> I'd say if they made a candle like that, but who would want that? Be a great way to ward the vampires off, I guess. All right. Let's add those guys in there. Put them together. So, <laughs> so that said, uh, if you're watching this, I'm sure there is a Twitch stream sometime this week that you should be watching over on my uh, Twitch channel. I don't know what game we're playing because, again, I don't know when you're seeing this. We could finally be done with Hogwarts Legacy. Sorry, I thought I saw my cat. Um, we could finally be done with Hogwarts Legacy and moved on to something else. Or we could still be on Hogwarts Legacy because that game has taken a while. Wow. Again, I don't have 
a lot of a great spinach ratio here, but I only got an eight ounce package because it's just me eating these. How dare you pop me in the face? Rude. Okay. Get the spinach kind of declumpified here because now, I think you could probably do this with fresh spinach. I don't know why every recipe I've ever found to make spinach stuff like this calls for the frozen stuff that you have to do this nonsense with. But, I followed the recipe today. I'm deviating enough from it by using the hot bell pepper instead of the, uh, not the hot bell pepper, the hot banana pepper instead of the yellow bell. So, I... <laughs> I don't know. I just question every recipe like that. Where it's like, use the frozen stuff, but why not the fresh? Why would I not use the fresh stuff? I, do, I don't get it. All right. Frankly, I think that is done. So when it is done, transfer to a bowl and set it aside to do the cooling thing. All right. I might need you in a little bit. We'll see. All right. So that is going to set to the side. That is our mixture uh, before the feta. Once it's cool, I'll add the feta in. Eventually. All right. So this has cooled off significantly. We are now going to add oy, our feta. You want these to be cheesy, so just dump the whole dang thing in there. Dump in the whole kitten caboodle. And give it a stir. Yes, I am using a fork to stir. <laughs> Don't judge me. I'm doing my best here. You just want it to kind of be incorporated. There you go. There's your mixture for the inside of your pastry boots. So I'm going to do this a little different from the book because, like I said, I don't have a boot cookie cutter. I'm going to try to make a boot for you guys. All right. So I'm going to roll this out. You're going to want a rolling pin for this, okay? Or something of the equivalent. Something of the equivalent. A wine bottle would be fine. Uh, any thing kind of cylindrical right like this as long as it's not like a flammable product or anything that might kill you so don't use that all right so i'm gonna fill these as much as i can and i'm gonna you know what i'll let you guys watch me try to make a boot <laughs> not pretty at all just so you're all aware it's not very pretty but that's all right My kingdom for a cookie cutter. Why did I not get a cookie cutter? <laughs> this is ugly as sin. <laughs> it kinda looks like a boot. Kinda. Not really. <laughs> but kinda. <laughs> I'll make that the topper of one of these. <laughs> oh, that was horrendous. Oh, heck, I should make another one. <laughs> that one looks like crap. All right, there you go. That's all of that I'm doing. <laughs> Freeform art is over, kids. <laughs> We're going back to serious.
Now I'm just going to, I'm going to do these in squares now. The ones that I'm balling up to the side, I'll make a square at the end. Um, there we go. I'll make that into its own thing. All right. Oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> it's just embarrassing. Oh my God. I'm not a professional. I'm a professional amateur. That is the catchphrase of this series. So now you're just going to start filling these up. I'm going to go with my hands. We're going to use the hand method here. <laughs> There's a bottom. Said a heaping helping of it, so I'm doing a heaping portion. Trying to. To get these filled. Y'all didn't watch me do the dead man toe a dead man's toes, and I assure you there was a reason for that, because it took a million years. <laughs> It took a million years. All right. Those are all full. Push that together. Try to keep everything inside. Make sure there's no leaks. Don't want any leaks. I have sliced through the wax paper. Whoopsie. <laughs> Oops. My bad. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> That's all right. All right, and you just kind of crimp, and you crimp the edges, make them good and tight. There we go. Crimping, crimping. Stop sticking. <laughs> there we go. There's one. Not the da. -da. Oh my god. Anybody stumbles upon these and are like, what is this tall child doing? Because <laughs> I, I really, I'm an adult, but I'm not an adulty adult. You know what I mean? I'm more of just a tall child. <laughs> I'm a tall child. I'm a child with a drinking license. <laughs> um, what's in your sippy cup? Vodka. All right, now transfer these over to your baking sheet. Just get them in there as nice as you can. Make some room, toesies. Make some room. Get, get friendly with each other. There you go. <laughs> that way with you. So I can get this one that kind of looks like a giant ravioli on here. And then the ugly as sin boot. <laughs> now normally with the pastry boots, I'll go on and say this. This part's just going to be edited for the other video. Uh, you're supposed to add food coloring, black food coloring to your egg wash. I couldn't find black food coloring. That apparently doesn't exist at the grocery stores near me. So, I didn't do that. They're just going to go, they're going to be white boots, which is appropriate because what's the Fort Sanderson sisters color? It's white. White and black. So, we're doing white boots for her. We're doing it for Cass. For me. Just bear with me, folks. <laughs> As you guys can see our pastries are done they are golden brown and stuck together <laughs> some of them stuck together but that's okay they smell great and they're so golden like look at this guys I'm gonna hold this up a little closer to you look at how beautiful that turned out that's why you egg wash egg wash gives it that lovely golden brown color I said I was gonna try the boot one so we're going to try the boot one for this video. 
<laughs> this is probably like screaming hot on the inside. So, oh, here goes nothing. I'm scared. I don't want my mouth to die. Warm, very warm. That is fire, guys. Those are good. Ooh, I felt the heat from that hot banana pepper. Those are good. Oh, my God. I love that. I still think my dead man's toes are better. I still think those are more delicious. But this is good stuff. Holy cow. Man, forget the people at work. I'm keeping this stuff for myself. <laughs> I'm kidding. I may share with some people. These are delicious. These pastry boots are amazing. I'm taking another bite. Mm-hmm. That's very hot. That's very hot. Y'all, those are amazing. Those are amazing. That's great. So yeah, that recipe is not just a bunch of hocus pocus. That is awesome. So there you go, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to drop a like and subscribe if you have it. It's free. It helps me. What helps me helps you guys get more great content like this. As I said earlier in the video, I'm sure there's a Twitch stream this week that you guys should go watch. You should really go follow me on Twitch and have some fun with me over there. Um, actually, when I'm recording this, I'm about to go stream. I actually had to push it back and be like, guys, we're starting at a quarter till because I'm not done yet. So, uh... You should go follow me on Twitch and have fun with me over there. I don't know what game we're playing right now because I don't know when you're seeing this. <laughs> um, and then Saturday night, I'm sure there's another thing that I have no idea about right now. But we're going to be Black Flame Gaming, I'm sure. So uh, make sure you tune in for that on the Saturday night. And in case you'll keep you in the loop as to what we're doing. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're a regular on this channel, please remember to drop a like. Share your thought on this recipe down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Casey Zogelman, a.k.a. the Fort Sanderson Sister. And I'll see you witches and wizards later. I am